Rick B's Daily Vlogs. Another cold, cold start today. San Francisco's weather is about 45, and there's a cold breeze kicking in. But at least, at least, it's not raining. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Sun may be out, trust me, it is cold. It is cold. Yesterday in Sacramento, it hailed so much that from a distance it looked like it snowed, but it was hail. But it looked like it snows. There's pictures all over the internet if you look it up. It's pretty much that type of weather. It's weird because throughout the month of December, and January we're at the end of February now but towards the month of December and January even most of February it's been nice and warm we were celebrating like spring type weather here in the city then all of a sudden mid to end February to now it's freezing it is freezing it is cold cold this is the winter that we waited for when winter started, we're almost towards spring. Spring is not that far away from us. Spring training is already in Arizona. They're already playing baseball down there. And the weather is cold. Freezing type temperatures. Last night, I looked at the temperature around 1130 at night here in San Francisco. It's about 40, 42 degrees. That is cold. San Francisco at 42 degrees, it's cold. Again, you guys who are always commenting like, oh, you've never felt cold. So, no, I, again, I've never felt cold outside of San Francisco. This is cold to me. So don't compare San Francisco to Seattle, Chicago, New York. No, because I've never been there. I never felt what that cold weather is like. And I know there is always cold. Here, when it's below 60 degrees, it is cold. So you got the sun up there and the sky. Blue sky is pretty much everywhere I pan. Everywhere I look is blue skies. You can look downtown that direction. There's blue skies. You see the Salesforce Tower in the distance. Blue skies. Skies may be blue. Temperature probably about 56 degrees. So a couple days ago, Oakland Mayor Libby Shaft announced that there was going to be some ice raids here in Northern California. She tried to warn everybody and let everybody know that there was going to be some ICE raids going on. Immigration raids for you guys who don't know what ICE is. And now she's getting backlash and death threats because she tried to warn the people. So my thoughts when it comes to immigration raids or ICE raids, it's pretty simple. If you are here in the United States, you're hardworking, whether you're illegal or legal, the government shouldn't mess with you. Pretty simple. You got a lot of illegal immigrants that are here illegally, but they're working hard. They're putting food on the table. They're helping out their family with rent, food, whatever. Those individuals should not be messed with. They shouldn't be messed with. Now, those times that I was driving down to China Basin, I passed by a little area in San Francisco called the Tenderloin. See a lot of people standing in the corner, five in the morning, 
6 in the morning, who are most likely selling drugs, because that's what you do if you're in the Tenderloin. Now, you have ICE agents who are going into people's homes. They are taking them, arresting them for being here illegally. But then you have guys standing in the corner of San Francisco streets, your streets, Oakland streets, whatever streets, and they're not even being bothered. They're not even being touched. No one's saying anything to them. And most likely some of them are here illegally. Now all these immigration raids started ever since Trump has been in office, ever since Trump decided we're gonna build a wall. Now he wants to get hardworking immigrants off the streets. They just did a raid a couple days ago. Fresno, San Francisco, arrested up to 50 people. Now, out of those 50 that they arrested, how many of them has a criminal record, has been in jail, anything like that? that that's what I wanna know. I wanna know how many of them does have that because I guarantee out, maybe one out of the 50 has some sort of record that got arrested for something. Not, doesn't have to be criminal, but got arrested for something. So these raids, I do not, do not agree with at all. These illegal raids that they're doing are, you know, separating families, taking away, again, like the moneymaker of the family. And maybe they just didn't have time to go through the process like a lot of people did when it comes to trying to stay here in the United States. Maybe they were working on the process of trying to stay here in the United States and all of a sudden they just get arrested and then sent back. It's not fair. It's not fair. You know, we are supposed to be helping out people here to try to get them to stay here. Whether it's legal or illegal, we gotta try to help them to stay here. Look at the way the moon is just coming out from the sky right there. Pretty cool. Wish kind of had my zoom lens so I can zoom in a little closer, but that's a cool sight right there. Now back to the topic. Is it right that they're going out and arresting illegal immigrants? Is it right that they're doing that? Is it right that they're arresting them without even letting them know or let even letting their family know till it's too late? Is that right? It's not. Was it Mayor Libby Schaff of Oakland, was she right in letting the public know that this is going to happen? Was she right by saying, hey, there's a possibility ICE is coming? Was she right? I mean, for the sake of humanity, the sake of making sure that the general public is okay, I think she did what she was supposed to do. She, she did what she felt was right, which to me was okay. And it's better than turning the other cheek and knowing that it's gonna happen and not letting everyone know it's gonna happen. I mean, think about it. If she knew it was gonna happen and she didn't tell anyone, she would've got some sort of backlash. The city would've been in an uproar, they would've been upset. And again, she did tell everyone and you got some people who are upset that she gave them forewarning. So it's kind of like a no-win situation. I think she was right for saying that. I think she was right for letting them know. But for ICE agents to just come out of nowhere to do that and take these guys, take these people, and I'm not sure if they're the hard-working type or the type that's just running away. I'm not sure which ones they're getting. But for them to just do that is not right. It's not, to me, it's not humane in, the, in a sense of where you're just gonna arrest someone you feel like needs to be arrested because the president is saying that we need to get all illegal immigrants off the street. Granted, but you also gotta get the ones that are causing problems here in the United States. Those are the ones you gotta target first, not the hard working ones. The ones who has a criminal record, the ones who are selling illegal drugs on the corner, the ones who are prostituting people, those are the ones you gotta get off the street. Those are the ones first, not the ones who are making a living for their family, who's putting you know, food on the table every night, who's making ends meet 
for their family to eat and survive. Those are the ones you gotta give them a reason to wanna stay. Give them a reason to wanna be here. The ones who are causing problems, the ones on the corners, the ones who have ties to gangs, those are the ones you gotta get off the streets first. Those are the illegal immigrants you gotta get off the streets first. And I'm not saying one race, I'm saying all. All races, all races, whether you're Asian, Latin, European, if you're an illegal immigrant and you're doing crime, committing crime, you don't belong here in the United States. You don't belong here committing crime, going to jail, we're paying taxes, all that stuff. So for Libby Schaff to warn them, she warned who, what she thought or who she thought was right. She probably warned the hardworking citizens of Oakland, of Northern California. So she was right for that. She was right for that. For everyone else, for the ones who are saying she was wrong for that, you're wrong for not thinking of it in this way. You're wrong for not thinking of it in a way where you think these people have the right to stay here. They have every right to stay here as me and you do. They're working hard for it. They're just not here as a citizen of the United States. So for you to say they don't belong here, that's wrong for you to say that. For you to say that she was wrong to be here, that's wrong for you to say. She had every right to warn the citizens of Oakland. She had every right to give them heads up. My thoughts, my opinion, my feelings, ICE agents, they're just, again, they're saying what Trump wants them to say, or they're doing what Trump wants them to do. That's it. That's all. That's what they're doing. Trump is picking on California because California voted for Clinton. So that's the only reason why she's picking on us. Nothing else. Or he's picking on us. Nothing else. All right, guys. That's my political rant for the day, for the week. I try not to get political, but I had to bring this out because it's happening here in my backyard, it's happening here in my city as well. 50 people got arrested, 50 people got detained, we don't know where those 50 people are. So, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. My vlog's ended guys. Go in peace. I think it's funny how they painted this road, but they didn't fix the cracks. Gave it a nice paint job. Cracks are still there. I made this.